Imagine buying a plot and at the same time opening the doors to a library that could change a child's life forever. As the saying goes, the best investment on earth is earth. But what if that investment also built a future? Stay with us as we sit down with the visionary CEO of AMG Realtors to discover how you can be part of this impactful journey. You don't want to miss this. Hi guys, welcome to SPM Buzz. My good name is Miss Kithinchi and I hope you're having an amazing time. Today I'm going to be spending the day with an amazing person who has broken barriers just to reach where he is. Here with me is Martin Githenji. Mato niaje? Fiti sana. Niaje? I think ni poa uambie watu. Hiyo kifinji zi zi mimi. Yep, yep. Hey! <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Mati. Thank you. CEO of AMG Realtors. Mm -hmm. Tell yes. us how did you become the CEO of AMG Realtors? How did you get to achieve this, Mati? You know, uh, I came as an intern. Oh, really? Yes. What? Ten years ago. And uh, one day I'll, I will sit down because it's a very long story. Yeah. One day I'll tell you how I moved from an intern to a CEO. It's a very long story. But to cut it short is that I started as an intern. Yeah. And now I'm here. Now we have uh, an organization with 100 people. You guys are the first Kenyan real estate company mm -hmm. to sell land or rather just bring uh, investment opportunities mm -hmm. to Kenyans in the U.S. Correct. Texas. Correct. How did you guys get to this point? How easy or how hard mm -hmm. was that? Let me tell you one thing, mm. uh, Betty. Mm -hmm. There is no limitation as to where you can invest. Okay. Because mm -hmm. uh, besides us selling land in the U.S., we were the first company to bring a project for the youth here in Kenya. Oh, Between okay. 18 to 30 years. We are actually the only organization that caters for the youth. 18 to 30. So we are not just a first to sell land in the U.S., but a first to many things. Mm -hmm. uh, we were the first company in Kenya to give a guarantee on title. For the longest time, Betty, yeah. people have been uh, crying. They don't have titles, two years, five years. Mm -hmm. I know people who are watching us can tell our stories of 10 years, 20 with years. With no title. With no title. When we came into the business, we said, we'll be giving titles within 60 days. Mm -hmm. And we've maintained that. For the last 12 years actually this september we are yeah. celebrating 12 year anniversary i saw in the comment section but i do not have even a passport i am not a, a citizen of the u.s you can own the issue of passport is an issue of the embassy yes. it's actually a visa not passport uh -huh. so what happens is that i am not giving or we are not giving you a guarantee that you're going to get a visa when you buy land with mm -hmm. us in the states mm -hmm. but it adds on your approval because you own land for sure if i own land how can you deny me it is your Mister. right yeah to go and see your land martin there is something amazing mm -hmm. that you guys are doing mm -hmm. there's a new initiative mm -hmm. that you want to involve people to support the community correct just give me a brief of that mm -hmm. because we're going to talk about it once we leave here guys mm -hmm. we're going somewhere else mm -hmm. give us a brief mm -hmm. information about amg foundation thank you now uh for 12 years mm -hmm. as a business i had mentioned that we've been in the business for the last 12 years and for the 12 years we've been delivering titles to our customers wherever they are across the world via dhl as one of our competitive advantage and the other thing is that of course uh we have a foundation because we asked ourselves, besides selling land, what is the, uh, what's the other impact that you want to leave in the community? Mm -hmm. For that reason, we've been able to create through our customers because it is through the people who have invested with us that we are able to come up with the initiative to open up libraries in Kenya. Yeah. So far, right now, we've opened not just any library, but three libraries in three. Kenya. Yes. Just okay. recently, we opened a library in Kibera, Kibra, uh -huh. Lainisaba, a place called Lainisaba. And you know what? Uh -huh. We uh, open these libraries, we stock them with books, yeah. and it's free for mm -hmm. kids to learn. What we realize is that uh, with the CBC curriculum, 
it becomes it, it's becoming increasingly difficult for many parents to be able to buy all the books yeah. you know that yeah mm -hmm. there's a huge set of books that parents are supposed to buy yeah. so when we go to this uh, uh the to the locations where the less fortunate uh, in the society are living in open libraries we are finding that the kids are finding the library as a solace a place where they can go hide mm -hmm. read revise because you can imagine if you got no fees for example if you don't have fees for the kids yeah. um, the same books that the kids will be reading in school are the same books that are in the library yeah. so a kid can go there uh, continue reading the same way the people in school are reading the pupils in school are reading mm -hmm. library yeah. what we have seen for example the numbers since May this year mm -hmm. to August mm -hmm. the number of pupils visiting the library has shot up with 1,900 percent. What? Yes. 1,900 percent increase yeah. of people visiting the libraries. Why? Mm -hmm. Because during the recess when they go for holiday, they are saying instead of us going to do uh, to play, why don't we go to the library? Yeah. So the number moved from around uh, 30 people to around 1,800 people. Yeah. I am sure you're asking yourself, you know, me investing in land and me supporting kids, and how am I supposed to, you know, feel about this? One, I would like to tell you it's a very fulfilling act of compassion. Mm -hmm. And two, it's also an investment opportunity because of the affordable, you know, lands that you guys have mm -hmm. to, to sell right now. Mm -hmm. What I need us to do now is go to one of those properties. One of the projects. Let's go to Juja, mm -hmm. like you guys mentioned, mm -hmm. and continue this chat there. Okay. I'm going to be telling you guys how do you get involved in this initiative with AMG Foundation and at the same time invest in AMG Realtors. Twende Juja. We have just arrived at one of their prime plots in Juja. This is uh, phase three, Juja Prime phase three, uh, but they are developing phase nine right now. So we are just going to be checking out some of the land that they have here. Yeah. And then uh, we can get to understand what are they selling for us just to see, you know, what is... Um, what sets them apart and also we get to talk about the initiative that, it, that is going to see you invest in a plot in land but at the same time contribute to the community and the growth of children who are vulnerable and who are not able to you know afford um, basic needs like books to just get to study yeah so let's go see martin So we are finally in Juja, and this is where they have uh, quite a number of uh, prime plots. Phase 1 to Phase 9, right now they are developing um, Phase 9, yes. And this is fun fact. Is, is it a fun fact or this is what I love the most about their plots? You have put up mm -hmm. perimeter mm -hmm. walls. Mm -hmm. In all the plots, mm -hmm. security mm -hmm. you guys also have security put up. I'm skipping the maua. Ah, kabisa. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I can see that. Uh -huh. So, to me, landscaping, uh -huh. maua, as you can see, the wall to kona security hapa kwa gate. Yes. So, ni wewe kukuja kujenga. kujenga. It's ready to build. Yeah. Yes. That is very Maji, stima, everything. Yeah, and the steamer is in the pit. It's in the pit. It's in the pit. Very nice. Yes. Now let's get into this amazing mm -hmm. initiative mm -hmm. that you guys have. Mm -hmm. If I buy land for mm -hmm. you guys, mm -hmm. I am in a position to help a vulnerable child somewhere. Correct. How do I get involved? So this initiative, uh, Betty, is uh, because of the 12-year anniversary, mm -hmm. which we are celebrating this September. Yes. So every, sept uh, every September we celebrate our anniversary. So this year, 2024, is our 12-year mm -hmm. uh, since the organization was formed yeah. and, uh, and founded. And uh, we have done it different this time because 
having these three libraries um, that we've opened, we have seen the impact it has on uh, the society. Mm -hmm. And that is why we want um, to invite you to help us build the next library this mm -hmm. September. Mm -hmm. And it's very simple for all the projects that we have. Whether you are a new customer or a continuing customer mm -hmm. who has already invested and is doing the monthly installment, you can take uh, this opportunity and grab this opportunity to become part of the people who build the next library. So before AMG, we had issues with books. We could share maybe one book, three people. Back 2015, and then is when I decided to pay a visit on AMG. I come from rural. It is so much hard to access some of the books. After AMG had come, that's when we start accessing those books and we benefited a lot. Early before, there was no AMG. That means there was a lot of time that was going in waste. After AMG had come, now the students are utilizing that time to study. After encountering this AMG, I've gained a lot. In future, I want to be a good doctor, for sure. <laughs> yeah.